taste better if you mix it with Red Bull? You can't mix Red Bull with beer, dork. I'm just saying, maybe it'll help. This cheap crap you bought tastes like piss water. You ever actually had piss water? Not really. Well, uh, this is a really cool idea you had, Todd. Hanging out, cemetery, drinking beer. Whew, I'm scared. Where's this stupid idiot anyway? He had to whiz. That was like 15 minutes ago. What was that? Quit screwing around, Lee! Lee? I think I want to go home and watch Felicity. Lee! I'm going home with her without you. Maybe he's waiting by the car or something. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Real funny, morons. Hey, we're just getting you back for all those times you treat us like crap. Oh, uh, come on, don't be like that. We're just joking around. <clears throat> Rat? <laughs> Get me out of here! Get me out of here, guys! <laughs> guy is so full of holes, he makes Noriega look like a Noxzema model. Well, clearly we're dealing with some kind of sicko obsessed with corpses. What, fetishist? Oh, I don't know. Necrophilia went out of vogue in the late 80s. Maybe we're dealing with some kind of satanic sect. Hi, guys. Hey, Vera. Hey, Tucker. Have you been working out? Uh, a couple days a week. Yeah, I'll keep it up. Those shoulders are getting so beefy. <laughs> Grace, your ferret just died. What? Oh, yeah. Your mom called. Uh, she left a message. She said she couldn't bear telling you herself. Pookie's dead? She's FedExing his ashes. Sorry. You actually owned a ferret? Well, yeah, well, I got him in junior high school, you know? I. I, I know he'd been sick, but I never really considered the fact that he'd... You know, like the big salami? Never really considered that either. Ah, great. You're all together. People, you decide amongst yourselves who's doing the corpse story. We're gonna write it together as a team. Yeah, I'm done with my Witches of Wall Street article, so we figured we might need a little more manpower on this one. Fine, but uh, not before you look through that Wall Street article one more time. I'm not getting the sense that the Coven is a legitimate brokerage firm. Well, of course it's not legitimate. They're witches, for God's sake. Grace, are you giving me lip? Fine. Whatever makes you happy. In the meantime, I've got a surprise for you people. We have a reporter from the Times interested in doing a piece on the Chronicle. This is going to be very good publicity for us people, so I want you to be cooperative. But not too cooperative, if you understand me. You want us to pretend our real stories are fake stories we think are real stories. 
I'm confused. Yeah, it's like Rock Hudson and Pillow Talk. You know, gay man pretending to be a straight man, pretending to be a straight man, pretending to be a gay man. Exactly. She doesn't believe any of this stuff anyway, so uh, you just give her what she wants and nothing more. Is that clear? Ah, here she is. People, I would like you to meet Miss Kristen. Hello. You two know each other? Old college buddies.